Well, hey, good morning, everyone. Um, sorry, a little late. I uh, had to go feed the cat. So she, I'm sorry, she takes precedent maybe, but um, today is uh, a new day. We're going to be continuing to look at John O'Donohue's book, To Bless the Space Between Us. I love this prayer that he has um, for courage. Let me read it for us this morning. When the light around you lessens and your thoughts darken until your body feels fear turn, cold as a stone inside. When you find yourself bereft of any belief in yourself and all you unknowingly leaned on has fallen. When one voice commands your whole heart and it is raven dark, steady yourself and see that it is your own thinking that darkens your world. Search and you will find a diamond thought of light. Know that you are not alone and that this darkness has purpose. Gradually it will school your eyes to find the one gift your life requires, hidden within this night corner. Invoke the learning of every suffering you have suffered. Close your eyes, gather all the kindling about your heart to create one spark. That is all you need to nourish the flame that will cleanse the dark of its weight of festered fear. A new confidence will come alive to urge you toward higher ground where your imagination will learn to engage difficulty as its most rewarding threshold. The thing that I love about this last one was this one here. He goes, know that you are not alone and that this darkness has purpose. Gradually, it will school your eyes to find the one gift your life requires hidden within this night corner. We don't know what the, the purpose is for all this from God's perspective. We only see in part. We only see, uh, I remember Billy Graham said one time, we look at the tapestry with all the strings on the other side and we, we kind of see a fuzzy image of what it looks like. But if you were to flip the tapestry that was hanging on the wall, you'd see it was a perfect picture in all of its entirety. We don't get that other side of the tapestry, do we? We just get all the strings, that's all the frayed ends, trying to make sense of it all. But that's where hope is. Hope is that we have a loving Father that wants to show us the other side of that tapestry. The, the idea of earthly hope is that we would never get to see the other side of the tapestry. But with godly hope, it's absolutely uh, there. It's right there attainable. And God sometimes gives us a, these glimpses of glory, these glimpses of hope to just show us that, that he has everything in control. He is sovereign. He sits in the throne, high, holy, lifted up, and that he is holy. And the train of his robe fills the temple. And to just know 100% that God is not asleep, God is not, you know, some old man sitting on top of a mountain going, oh, I wonder what's going on in the earth today. No, he, he's very much present with me in this house, with you, with your families, with our churches, with our city, and especially this world. God bless you. God loves you. And have a great third day of self-isolation. Whatever that is, remember 
that there's a pastoral team that wants to continue to love you and care for you and encourage you. I am one of them, Karen DeKaiser, Julia Burnett, there's Sarah Taylor, there's Josh Taylor. There's amazing people that uh, would love to just meet with you and talk with you online. Um, so feel free to grab a hold of them and say, hey, let's let's have a chat or have a prayer. I just had some time with Lance right before this call. I had a time to you know talk with him and pray with him. Anyways, God bless you guys. We love you and we'll see you tonight at eight o'clock.